As Uganda prepares to extract and sell its first consignment of oil, the construction of Hoima International Airport, which will be critical in the development of Uganda's oil sector, is in progress. The project's physical progress is about 20%, and we expect that by, by the end of 2022, we shall have a runway completed, actually the entire project completed by the end of 2022. We shall have a runway of 3.5 kilometers. When we visited the project which sits on a five square kilometer piece of land, the graders and excavators were busy digging and leveling the runway. Located in the parish of Kabali, Useruka Sub County in Hoima District, this international airport will be capable of handling the biggest passenger and cargo aircrafts, according to the engineers on site. Consider this airport as an international airport. The way you see some of other international airports, this is going to be the second international airport in Uganda. It will be as good as Entebbe, even better. And it is strategically located in an oil and gas region because it was brought here purposely to facilitate the development and exploration and mining of oil and gas in this region. So to Uganda, it will be dealing with exports and imports. Amos Murisa, the project's public relations officer, says construction work on the airport has to be done quickly because it's supposed to handle the aircrafts that will transport the machinery to construct the planned oil refinery. Now this expanse of land is about 30 square kilometers. Though the airport sits on only 5 square meters, the rest of the land will be used for the construction of other support infrastructure once the airport is complete and the refinery project takes off. Uh, the airport was brought this side purposely to facilitate these other projects, like the refinery, like the East African crude oil pipeline, the industrial park and other infrastructures. Though a number of families were displaced from this 30 square kilometer land to pave way for the construction of the airport and other projects, Muriza says the communities around the project site have benefited from various corporate social responsibility projects. Uh, so far we gave beds and beddings to Kabare Health Center and Busiruka Health Center. We have renovated Chigaga Primary School and Nyamasoga Primary School. We have... Uh, we know this area is water constrained. We have so far given to the community four boreholes. We visited Nyamisoga Primary School, where a latrine has been constructed by the project, and the school's management says a lot is being done for the community. Uh, they also train children a game of chess, and even they have provided classroom doors, and they are promising to renovate the class in the coming quarter. Only time will tell if the airport will be ready by 2022, according to the plans. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Hoima District.